Amnesia has been heralded as one of the greatest horror games ever made. It earned Frictional Games over 10 times what it cost to make, which for an indie company is absolutely massive. It changed the face of survival horror for years to come, up to this point a full decade, with countless games being made to follow its formula from Outlast, Slender and Cry of Fear to Layers of Fear and more. It's clear that a massive group of people enjoy the helplessness approach to horror rather than the more violent and resource-dependent gameplay of, say, Resident Evil or Dead Space, because even to this day, games still keep popping up that follow this helplessness formula. But why is that? I suppose it could be attributed to that people like, like to feel that sense of vulnerability, that sense of fear that comes from knowing that you can't do anything to fight back and simply need to flee for your life or get caught by something you don't fully understand. Amnesia was about a man named Daniel who woke up in a dark castle remembering nothing but his name, his home in Mayfair, and his current plight as prey for this shadow. The entire game is about being this weak, defenseless man against an unstoppable force that will never stop hunting you. You can slow it down, but never stop it or escape it. The design philosophy behind the game was helplessness. You were supposed to feel helpless against the monsters, which I suppose they did succeed in. This is an unpopular opinion, I know, but hear me out. I consider Amnesia the Dark Descent to be among the worst games ever made for a few simple, but still large reasons. Number one! The resource conservation. The game hardly did anything to punish you for using too much of your oil or tinder. I'm a veteran of the survival horror genre, so I have learned how to properly conserve resources. But even with that, I should be challenged. I should be running out of resources because that is the essence of survival horror. You should be terrified of being unable to use your tools to defend yourself and as a result, constantly weighing your options on whether or not it's worth the time you have to spend exploring to find more resources when you are at risk of dying, or risk not using your resources to the best of your ability and get away losing as little as possible. That isn't part of amnesia because you were mechanically punished for not doing what the game wants you to do. You lose sanity, which makes the game harder and harder as time goes on. Of course there is a way to regain this stat, i.e. progressing through the game, but that simply makes it more difficult to scavenge for resources, which is the core concept of a survival horror game. It just feels like it gets in your way more than it threatens you. Granted, this is a personal opinion, so discount, discount this if you so desire. Number two. Number two. The patrols. There are a bunch of different places where the more... visually drawing of the enemies patrols around. Which one might think would be smart because it creates a certain cat and mouse dynamic. You wait for him to pass, you sneak towards your goal, wait again, and repeat. It adds a fun stealth mechanic to the game that adds variety. But this also adds a certain crap factor in that the AI isn't really that smart. Which brings me to my next point. Number three. The AI. There are so many things you can do to just fuck the AI up entirely. From putting a bucket on their head, to picking up a book and fucking hiding behind it. To standing on their goddamn head. I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel threatened by a being that lacks object permanence. I should note that there is a reason behind this. The way the game works is that if the, if the shadows can't see your eyes, it can't see you. Which is supposed to make it more scary to look at the, the monsters. It's supposed to make you not want to look, but there's still that morbid curiosity that is innate in most human beings that you want to look. You want to see what is threatening you. You want to see what you're afraid of. But the more you look, the more sanity you lose, 
and the more likely it is to find you, even if you're in the shadows or behind something or just hidden in general. Number four. Number four. Probably my biggest problem with this game, it's repetitive. In most horror games, you have a number of different tools and avenues. You have choices to make when you get into a sticky situation. And as the game progresses, those situations evolve along with you. In Amnesia, and all other games where you have absolutely no form of way to combat your opponent, there is no choice. All you can do is run and hide. This adds a certain stress factor to most people's gameplay, since not many people can calm down and think rationally in a pinch. But for those who can, this is barely even a horror game. If you are capable of simply realizing that there is no way for you to fight back, and thus no way for you to make a mistake, the stress factor of the game is completely nullified, and your only choice to make is whether or not you can survive and are willing to take a hit to get where you want to go. To me, fear comes from insecurity, uncertainty, and doubt. If the only supplies I have are for self-maintenance, my only concern is how I space those supplies out, which is completely unrelated to my opponent. You could argue that because of the way sanity works, it could, it could potentially count as a resource, but I find that unless you are actively fucking up not doing what you are supposed to do, and actively going out of too far out of your way for unrelated bullshit, this will never be an issue because you gain sanity when you progress in the game. Don't get me wrong. I consider Amnesia to be a good mystery game. Something to make people think, wonder, and ponder about what transpired here. Then reward them incrementally by answering those questions as they progress through the game. That being said, I also consider it to be one of the worst horror games ever created, and the worst thing that ever happened to the horror genre. Now game developers think that if they don't make their game this way, nobody in the horror player base will like it. But is that really Amnesia's fault? I don't necessarily blame Frictional Games for it, they're good writers and they deserve praise for it. But the issue with the gaming industry in the current epoch is that too much money is invested for anyone to want to take a risk. Investors want a sure thing. They want their money back and more, which means developers have no choice but to comply to their demands and do things they know already work. In the end, the gaming business is just that. A business. And it's expected to make money. You could make the greatest game ever made, but if it doesn't net your investor a good chunk of money, they will lose faith and pull out, which is a death sentence for a game developer. Case in point, Alien Isolation. Probably my favorite horror game of all time. It had a revolutionary AI that learned and adapted to your tactics as the game progressed. The more you used distractions to get away, the quicker she caught on to those tactics. The more you used brute force, the more she realized that you may as well have been a toddler flailing a wet banana peel at her and more quickly decided to simply rip you to shreds instead of even entertaining the idea that you shooting at her could potentially deal more damage than her accidentally walking into a doorframe and hitting the top of her skull. But when you think about this, isn't it very similar to the exact tactics I've been complaining about in Amnesia? Both Amnesia and Alien Isolation pit you against an unstoppable opponent, something you cannot kill. The biggest difference is that while you cannot kill either of them, the alien can be hindered and fucked with in different ways, such as distracted with a loud noise on the opposite side of the room while you escape through a vent hoping she doesn't come in after you and pull you off into the darkness to have her way with you. The shadow cannot even be seen, much less hindered. The other monsters can be hindered in some ways, such as closing doors or distracted with pieces of meat, but that is extremely limited. Alien Isolation gives you the ability to do something and, with that, the ability to make a mistake. To fuck up in a way that comes back to haunt you later in the game. Amnesia, on the other hand, prevents you from having that choice to begin with. Which is my closing statement. Choice. Without being given a choice, you cannot make a mistake. 
If you cannot make a mistake, you have nothing to fear. But hey, that is simply the opinion of the humble ancient. I know you, the person watching this right now, probably thinks very highly of amnesia. Tell me why in the comments, and I hope you have a good day. Ancient here, signing off.